UT Martin uh, head coach Jason Simpson, the Skyhawks, had their game postponed last week, so they'll start the season this week when they travel to rival Murray State on Sunday at 2. So, Coach, uh, just thoughts on you were ready to play a game, but Mother Nature didn't cooperate, so you'll get to start the season this week. Yeah, uh, certainly looking forward to it. Uh, man, it was tough. Uh, I know a lot, most people dealt with it. Uh, I think we went eight straight days without being able to go outside. So, um, you know, that was tough. We were born in Union cities, a little indoor, and trying to do what we could do. Uh, so it, it was it was difficult. So we were able to get outside on Saturday. There's actually still some snow on the sidelines. Uh, so it was good to be outside Saturday. And then, of course, yesterday and looking forward to it today. So uh, I know that there's a no excuses attitude and whatever, but you're all sort of behind the eight ball and like you limited time to get ready for the season and then you're getting ready to play and you're, you can't practice again. So would you say, will you be at a hundred percent ready to play on Sunday or is a hundred percent this spring totally different than what a hundred percent would be in a normal year? Yeah, I think so. Um, you know, I, I think so. And of course, you know, you saw that with Austin P and Tennessee tech, um, you know, and, I think everybody is going to kind of be uh, feeling your way through. Uh, it's just different. It's just different. It's still, you know, now what's fun about it is still competitive and it's still a game. You just got to figure out how to manage your way through it. And I think you'll see some cleaner football, you know, game two and three. And then as we go into the season. That was the question I wanted to ask. I didn't know if you learned anything from watching any of that Tennessee Tech Austin P game and just, um, you know, teams building up to what they'll, where they'll be, you know, by the end of March is totally different than where they are at the end of February. No, I think so. And, you know, you, you always have first game things you have to work through and, you know, uh, but, you know, hopefully, uh, you know, us having one more week, uh, you know, the continuity of, you know, me being here a long time, hopefully there's a lot of carry over that, a lot of not, you know, not newness, but, you know, uh, you always talk about, you know, beating the game. And, um, you know, I think it, that applies even more this year in the spring season. Well, you talk about uh, your familiarity with your team in the league. So your opponent, uh, new to his school, but obviously you've uh, competed with him before. So talk about Coach Hood being at Murray State. Uh, you know, I think the world of Dean, I think I, feel, I consider him a good friend and a, an outstanding coach and competed against him, you know, many years. And uh, when he was at Eastern Kentucky, and they were certainly the, you know, the standard of the league. And, uh, yeah, you know, it's so not only is it ever difficult to go against his teams, but you go in the first game and, and you hadn't seen any tape on them. So that's going to be even a, a tougher challenge. When we talked about that a little bit last week, you know, you have teams haven't played, but since he is a new coach, do you expect, you know, some of the things he did at EKU to maybe prepare for that? Or is it more different team? He's got totally different personnel at Murray State and you have to prepare a different way. You know, all, all of the above, you know, you try to, prepare for everything, but, you know, you can't chase too many ghosts. You really just have to worry about, you know, your football team and your, you know, following your, your schemes, rules, and, and then be able to make adjustments, you know, uh, throughout the game. A couple of uh, coaches, we've, we've talked about special teams. So I want to get your thought on that. Obviously the, the weather is a little different right now than it would be the beginning of a, a traditional season. How have you all worked with special teams uh, and just to get ready, because obviously it could a kick or a punt here could be the toll, the difference maker, especially if maybe the offenses aren't where they're used to be uh, normally. Yeah, that's um, you know that is very difficult. Uh, you know, we we've had um, you know a lot of talk conversations about that. I think uh, you know the most difficult part about that is you know you still got to test one more time this week. You still don't understand. You, you won't know who's out right until maybe you know Saturday. And you probably, you know, you didn't get as many reps as you would have liked, you know, for that second, third team guy on the special team units uh, like you did on offense or defense. So that's certainly a challenge. And then, like I said, I don't really think our kickers, you know, kicked, they didn't kick outside, like I said, for eight days. So, uh, you know, you, you hope you can overcome it, play through it. But, you know, this is, a, you have to manage these games probably, in my mind, differently than you do um you know a, a, a normal fall season and so you know maybe you go for it more on fourth down maybe you fake a punt more you know maybe you you know you just fair catch everything I mean there's a lot of things that go into it that you've got to kind of uh uh you know you know beat the game as we say but uh maybe it's just different in, in the in the spring those those things certainly cross my mind on a daily basis Coach Hood's answer to this was uh he he just didn't know the, uh, he didn't know uh 
but if you if you think if you had your thought, would this be more of an offensive contest or maybe more of a defensive uh, contest on Sunday? Uh, you know, good question. I I, I really don't know. <laughs> you know, you because all it takes on defense, right, is you know you get out of gap, you blow a coverage. You know, you don't get lined up right. You know, all those all those things, and all of a sudden, you know, it's it's uh, big plays are getting made. So I I wouldn't have any idea. We're relatively young on defense. We got a lot of new faces. Uh, you know, but that doesn't mean there's there's not days we don't go out and practice against our defense and you know uh, false starts or penalties. So if those things bite you. You know, then the defense that certainly does have an advantage. Coach, that's all the questions we have for you this morning. So uh, best of luck to your team uh, on Sunday, and thanks for joining us today. Hey, thanks, guys.